Good evening, guys, and welcome back to Cricket Captain 2023. Today, we're finishing up this series against Ireland. We've got the second test after we won the first test um, in, well, not, <clears throat> not convincing fashion, but we did get the win. And um, we're going to see if we can play a little bit better this time out. We're going to also... We're going to stick with the same team. No, I think I want to change things up just a bit. Just a little bit. So we'll bring in... Simmons. Oh, no, actually, we'll give Patterson White a debut. Or... Yeah, I mean, it'll have to be Leech, I think. It'll have to be Leech. So we'll give, yeah, we'll give Patterson White a debut. We'll also bring in Ben Duckett um, for Harry Brook. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Kind of kept the order that we had from... Kept the order that we had from the last game, but that's not exactly what I want to be going with. We've got, yeah, we've got a good selection of bowlers there. With definitely a bat first, you want to be bowling last kind of situation here. So that's what we're going to go for. Yeah, we're going to bowl first, see? Ireland know it as well. Definitely want to be, definitely want to be batting, uh, bowling last here. You want to be bowling last. So, right, okay. Yeah. Speed will just run in, target a you know, leg stump line here. Um, Kimber, the other end, will just keep on a regular line. Like so, yeah. Uh, when a batsman has maybe faced 25 or 30 deliveries, then I'll bring the aggression down. Um, but until then, I'm going to kind of keep with the aggressive build and the aggressive bowling lines uh, just to try and try and take a few chances and grab a few wickets early on if we can. Kimber's actually going for a few runs here. So let's, let's change him out. He's going a little bit, not even that much, you know, he's not going at that much. Rick, give the ball to Alton instead. Uh, we'll lower it by one level now. There we go. Now they're going for a few. They are going for a few. So we'll lower it for a little bit more. For both bowlers here, because now the batsmen are set. And they're still smacking runs. Still smacking runs here. Speed needs to change out, so we'll bring in Patterson White. He'll bowl some spin early, and it could be early on the wicket. Could be an early wicket change with the batsman. Yeah. He's come forward. He's edged it to Phil Salt, who has got the gloves. Yeah, that'll be the first wicket. That'll be Patterson White's first wicket in his first over international cricket that is that is something that is something and now hopefully we can put a little bit of pressure back on so we'll go a little bit more aggressive on the on the new bat and maybe go for a few fours but patterson white maybe we'll get another one here he does indeed duck it takes the catch and that's two now we've got tector in we're gonna do the same thing again here we're gonna keep the aggression on new bat while we just try and calm things down at the other end. Stokesy will come in, bowl a few. On for a few. They are getting a few boundaries here, but Patterson White is getting... He's taking wickets, so it's kind of hard to say, yeah, you know, we shouldn't really be, shouldn't be bowling him. Archer here comes on. That's close, but I don't think he'll be given. No, it's not given. That's lunch. One, four, seven for two. Like, they are batting quite quickly. They are batting quite quickly here. Hector can go down to three bars of aggression, maybe. Both here. Archer will keep going as well. Patterson White is getting hit for a few boundaries. In fact, they both are. But here we go. Another chance. Can we get Singh early? Well, earlier than we... Nah. Early in the session, but not early really in the game. Already smacked 50. Target then. We'll target front foot bowling here with both of them. That's okay. Give Patterson White a break and we'll bring on we'll bring on Joe Root just for a few. Archer go back to back to Kimber because he hasn't bowled since the start. Of the innings. Oh, that's gone for a few from Rooty. Here we go, Kimber to Tector. Can we get the wicket? It's edged, it's taken by Salt. Go okay, perfect. Let's go aggressive on the new bat. Joe Root as well. Go and aggressive. Try and get a wicket. Try and, try and make it like one makes two here. 
Ruti's going for a few as well. So let's go back to go back to speed. And is it a good oh I'm not sure there's anything there, but close. No, nonetheless, it was close. I was feeling a little bit tired. All of our bowlers are kind of going for a few runs here. No, that's not out either. Not out either. That's T and they're at 291. They're batting very quickly here. Really are. Going to bowl. There we go. Let's bring on let's bring on Patterson White again. Calm things down here. Bowl at two bars, maybe. Speed to Tucker. Nothing there. Nothing there. We're going back two bars. And here we go. Maybe Patterson White's gonna get his third. Yep, that's straight. Oh, it's very close. He's actually spun too much. But the spin is getting a few more chances here. Another chance. That'll be... Oh, it's the same delivery. It's spinning too much. Peter Tucker. Come on. There we go. Bold in. 44. Gone. Okay, we'll go aggressive on the new bat. Go aggressive on the new bat. Good stuff. Peter Carmichael. Here we go. There's an edge. And it's been given. There is an edge. We've managed to make it. One makes two. One brings two kind of situation there. Because they were going well. They still are going really well. Singh is on 119 again. A great innings. Um, front foot side. Okay. Okay. Going aggressive on Tekta here. But he is getting some runs for his money. That's edged and that's taken. Okay. Paul brings... Brings uh, Singh away. Gets Singh out. Camphor comes in. Very defensive. Back foot offside. Okay. Front foot offside. So we're bowling, bowling the same line, both of them. We'll just wait and see. That will bring us any wicket. Now, see, the, the spin is getting hit a little bit here. Go for Archer. New ball is available. We will take it. There's a few times in a few episodes that I've been reminded in the comments that I forget about the new ball. Sometimes I reject it, then forget about it and don't get the new ball for, uh, for my bowlers to take to try and grab a few wickets. It seems a matter of the minute. Let's calm the fielding down a little bit. Here we go. Alton 2 Tecta. Hold him, perfect. But they're at four nineteen for seven. Like there's no, there's no real worry from them right now, is there? So, speed to Camphor. Can we get another one edged and taken by Charles Paul at first slip? Awesome. Four two four for eight. Bring speed. Oh no, finish up the over. And let's go back to Imba. And I'll also go to Ben Stokes just for an over. That's the end of day one. Four, three, seven scored in one day. 91 overs. They're having a good time of it. Go to Joffre Archer to start the next day off. Smacked around already. They're, they're genuinely just smacking runs. The, the nine and ten. Just having fun. Smacking runs. Can't find an edge. Let's bowl a regular line. See if that would do it. There we go. We bowl them out. Yep. As you try and finish things up, Stokes to Little, no, not out, not out. Archer to Little, come on, there we go. No, what? Um, what was that missing? What was that possibly missing? Auto play, Archer to Little, come on, there we go. We finally get the wicket. Four seven seven, all out. With what's that? A forty, a forty, a forty, two fifties, and a hundred. Only one single figure score. Ireland will be very happy with that. And they've batted really quickly as well. They've batted quickly as well. So it's our turn. We're, we're going to see if we can bat quickly as well. We've got well, slightly defensive players out there. But let's see if we can uh, do a bit of damage right back at them. See if we can get to maybe like 300 by the end of the day. That'll be nice. That'll be good. Nine. No loss to start things off. Lovely shot from Charles Poole. Lovely shot indeed. We're going to be close now. We've got an hour to, uh, till lunch. So we've got a bit of time. We have a bit of time. Try and grab good opening stand. Maybe a good first few open uh, first few partnerships. 
see what kind of damage we can do. It's not been a bad start. It's not been a bad start at all. Charles Paul is actually going at a pretty decent rate um, as things as things start things start out here in this innings. That, see, that's gone for six. He's going at a really, really good rate. Just under a runner ball to start things off here. Um, it's kind of slowed down a bit with just that mate. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be buys. That'll be buys. We'll take that. No, we'll take that. Uh, let's go a little bit more aggressive with Paul. Why not? We're going to see if we can take advantage of what seems to be a really nice but kind of quickly deteriorating pitch. So a fast batting from Ireland might have actually done us a bit of a favour um, because it means we're batting on a pitch that hasn't had as much you know, time to deteriorate. And then once they're batting again, maybe we'll be able to take advantage of that pitch We've got two spinners in the side, two quality spinners in Joe Root and Patterson White. He's already taken a few wickets. It is his debut, don't forget. Yeah, lovely stuff. Paul is going okay. He's got a much higher strike rate than uh, Wharton at the other end, but I don't really mind that. I said it before, I'll say it again. I don't mind if one player is going, one player is hitting a lot of boundaries for the other player to kind of sit back. As I say that, Wharton smacks a six. Um, but we're 69, no loss, 42 and 21. Still 400 runs behind, so there's still a bit of a, a bit of a gap here, a bit of a chase. Got from Charles Paul, very nice stuff indeed. He's close to 50. This could be his 50. Here we go. Just outside off, it's a bit of a full toss. It goes to the fence, and that'll be, well, quite an easy way to get to your 50 if you are the quality that Charles Paul. Oh, that's close. Okay, that's close. Yep, Charles Paul can tick up to the next level. Progression. Oh, and whoa, that's not good. Wharton has a life. He's been saved. The keeper has put one down. Not good keeping. Not good keeping. That was very catchable. And you've got gloves. No, you've got gloves. They help you out. <laughs> As someone who's kept a fair decent amount, you, know, you use your gloves. Use your webbing. Try and get hold of it. Shouldn't be dropping a simple one like that. Well, that looked like it might come off the edge, but either way, same result. It's gone for four. This opening stand is looking pretty good. It's runs all over the place. It really is runs, runs, runs. For the first two days of this test match, Charles Paul's gone. Where was the edge? I didn't, I didn't see any kind of deviation there. But there must have been for the umpire to give it. 136 for one. That's off the edge as well. Safe. Oh, that's gone straight back to the bowler. Straight at, at the bot. Same again. Phil Salt does not like that bowler. <laughs> He's having fun. He's having fun. He's smacking the ball back towards him. Wharton on strike now. Getting close to his own 50 as well. That'll be another four runs. Lovely shot. 150 is up for the team. 156. And now Wharton still going. It's over. He's, uh, he's enjoying himself. That one's going to be another four. That is indeed 50 up. 56 for Wharton. Both of the openers have done their job. Smacked 50. And uh, Wharton is obviously still going. Joined by Phil Salt. He doesn't seem, seem worried about playing a few shots early on in the innings. A goner. He's a goner. So, so far, 250s, but neither of them able to turn into hundreds. Drop from Duckett. We know Duckett will play aggressive. We know Phil Salt will play aggressive. We might be able to get some runs in quick time here in double time. Go so next level on. There, there's T. Okay, that's fine. Lower that again. Actually, no, you know what? We won't. We'll keep it at three bars for the both of them. When we get to the midpoint, the end of that T, we'll go up to four bars. When we get to the end of the, the settled in the bar, We'll go. We'll go to. Uh, we'll go to another level. There we go. Shot from Duckett. Four runs. Another four runs. Lovely shot. So one bar up there for Salt. Strike. Next side puts it through a mid wicket for four, and then absolutely smacks one away. Upper cut. Got again three boundaries and that over alone. Next level up there. Ben Duckett can now go to four bars. 
Do salt. Oh, is there an edge? No edge. We get away with that one. And then the next board is punished. A little bit too straight. And the next one, well, a little bit too wide that time. And that's a 50 up for Phil Salt. Lovely stuff. And when that bar is full up, we'll go fifth level of aggression. Phil Salt, but Duckett's gone for 27. 27. Couldn't make it four 50s in a row for the top order. Oh, and it's actually sixth level of aggression. Oh, that's what we're looking at here. Let's see if Joe Root can survive a bit. Oh, and Phil Salt's gone in the 50s as well. Uh, well, my my theory about players getting out in the 50s, I, I do feel like there's a little bit of truth to it. I do feel like there's a bit of truth to it. Yeah, lovely shot from Rooty. And follows it up with another one. Two fours in the over for Joe Root. Good start. Now Alton on strike. It's a great shot. That's actually a crazy good shot when you've only been out there for a, a little bit. Only a few deliveries. Again, a little bit more controlled that time, but that's what we like to see. And Rooty showing some class as well. Right, so when I think we'll, we'll slow down the aggression a little bit here. Lead is still 200. But when they get to the end of the D on the settled in the bar there, that's when we'll give them fourth level. And uh, when they get the bar completely full, then we'll go fifth level. 279 for four. We are doing well. You know, it's clearly a batting pitch. Clearly is a batting pitch. And imagine if we had batted first, we might have uh, we might have put up an even bigger total than the Irish total. And the Irish total is really good. It's really competitive. So that's, you know, that's not taking anything away from them at all. 298 for four. We're just batting second and we're still having a pretty good time of it. You know, that's 300 up. Lovely stuff. Hilton can go to four bars of aggression as well. We progress through this test match at a pretty quick rate. We're kind of moving through the days quite quickly here. It's probably because there's not a lot of wickets. Um, and even though I was trying to change up bowlers and change up tactics and stuff like that, I wasn't really having a lot of luck with it. So, you know, maybe it is just one of those days, one of those games where it's just a batting pitch and whoever scores the most runs, you know, may, well, maybe win the game, but you're more likely looking at a draw. Oh, and there we go. rooty has gone in the 40s. Ireland have taken the new ball. That's the end of day two as well. We are still 159 runs behind here. Go three bars for Adam Alton and for Ben Stokes. I like the fact that everyone's kind of contributed a little bit here. The lowest score being 27. Really not that bad. It's really not that bad. Hopefully I'm not jinxing Stokesy here. No, he's, he put that one away for four. Nice. Lead is down to 137. Stokesy puts that round the corner through square leg for four runs. Follows it up with another one. A very similar shot. He's already up to 22. He's, he's kind of ticking nicely here. That's a four again. He's up to 28. Really is ticking. Really is ticking. Keep going, buddy. Is the, oh, is that out? No, Alton's just played inside that one. Puts the next chance he gets away for four. He's on 49 here. On 49. Oh, that'll be 50 up for Adam Alton. There we go. Another 50. That makes four 50s in this innings alone. You know, Stokesy's close to a 50. Rooty got close to a 50. We got a quarter century from Ben Duckett as well. Not bad looking. It's not looking like a bad innings at all. We just got to kind of get that parity. Then, uh, you know, see what we want to do going into the second innings. We'll probably bowl a lot more spin, I am. Pitch keeps going. We're only day three, session one. We're not even halfway through this game yet. Still... Still a lot of time in this game for... Oh, Stokesy! Stokesy's gone. He's chipped one up. 44, not quite get the 50. Brings in Joffre Arch, and we are officially into the bowlers here. So the bowlers are going to start on two bars instead of three. Uh, we're probably not going to mess with all the pressure levels here at all, just because I'd like him to try and rack up some runs here. At least get us level with the Irish total. That is the first kind of challenge Robertson to Alton here we go keep going yeah four runs lovely stuff he's into 77 77 67 now now he's into the 70s 
Archer at the other end isn't doing so bad either. He's already up to 17. The lead is going to be, what, about 50 now? Maybe even less, maybe. Oh, yeah, lovely stuff. So, yeah, the lead is 47. So, I'm, I'm correct in that one. We're not going to mess with Alton's aggression. We will mess with Joffrey Archer's aggression. So I would just, like I say, I want Alton to just stay there, play the same kind of game, hit the runs if they're there to be hit. He moves towards getting close to 100 here. That's four, four, six, four. He's on 98. So, yeah, he really, really is close to 100. Five minutes left in the session. He's on 99 now with a single there. Archer's, oh, Archer's gone for 25. But that's a really handy 25. Got one over to try and get his 100. Here we go. That's going to be the 100 up. There we go. Incredible stuff from Adam Alton. And we're only 18 runs behind now. We faced 111 overs. They only faced 97.2. So, did indeed bat a little bit faster than that. But, you know, I'm not. I'm not crazy worried about it. I'm not crazy worried about it. They uh they did bat fast, but we're we're we've equaled the score and we got so much time in the game that I don't think I need to be worrying about it too much. I and mean, especially if Alton carries on and uh, keeps smacking some runs. Hopefully the other end, the the bowlers can just maybe contribute ten, maybe fifteen each, and just see if he can get the chunk of the runs. Maybe even a lead here. We're only eight runs behind with. Three wickets left. Um, yeah, that's another four. That's and that's speed getting. That's what I mean. So if the bowlers are also contributing, we're gonna get even more runs than uh, than Ireland did. And that is it. That's the lead from speed. Six runs is the lead now. Four runs. Nice shot from Tim Speed. Um, and Alton just at the other end. You know, I don't even I don't even really need to see see the highlights from here on you know it's just oh okay well there we go speed is out but he did contribute 10 so it's not a bad not a bad contribution at all that's going to be another four runs kind of slapped back oh and oh kimber's been dropped on zero was he or no i think he was dropped on one so he, he wasn't dropped for a duck he's been bold anyway patterson white's going to come out and he's already got two runs okay that's not bad that's not bad let's see if we can get to 500 would be nice if we could get to 500. That's a cracking shot. Oh, my word. 499 for 9. And that'll be the drop and go for the 500 for the team. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Here we go. Is that going to be 6? I think it might be. Oh, just one bounce before. Well, let's also tell Adam Alton to try and take a bit of the strike from here on. Just because he's got a little bit more chance of smack and runs. But then again, Patterson White. <laughs> doesn't seem doesn't seem so worried about it. He's going to try and smack some runs himself if he can. And uh, from here on, it's just seeing how many runs we can get. There's no... Smack and runs. Why am, I, am I not giving him credit? I mean, the averages aren't great. But first class average of 25. That's his average score, you know. 25. Average. Probably should have been batting... Probably should have been batting a bit higher. Yeah, he definitely should have been batting higher. <laughs> um, he should have been batting 10, maybe not 11. But, you know, it's a pleasant surprise if our number 11 comes out and smacks a few. Not not a problem at all for me. We might just get this lead up to uh, 50 runs. 5 two, nine for 9, and Patterson White is happily smacking some runs. Yeah, the lead is at 56. Adam Alton is closing in on a 150 for himself is pretty nice and there we go he's gone as i was talking about the chance of a 150 he is gone but 535 all out we've got a lead of 58 and now a pitch that is already turning so let's give the ball to patterson white he's actually at it no he's got got a little bit of fitness in him that's okay um we'll bowl we'll start with just a regular line we'll just start with a regular line and uh, we'll keep pace on at the other end. I'll give Joffre Archer the... And... He's already been smacked for a six. Wow. Okay. Um, Addison White will go again. There's T. That's all right. I think I may as well just play... Oh, do I play Joe Root? No, I don't know if I want to play pace at... Uh, spin at both ends when I can basically have one end doing spin consistently or 
I don't know, for as long as, as as long as possible. And then if that spin bowler does then get tired out, we just swap it over. We just swap it over to the other spinner, you know. Not it's bad. We'll go in overs of five for the pace bowlers. Um and probably go spin bowlers would just keep them on until they're tired, basically. Probably not the bad shout here. Oh, that's close, but no cigar. Calm it down just a tad here with the... We'll go aggressive with the spinners and we'll go kind of calm with the pacers. That's what we'll do. Oh, that's not out. It's actually doing too much. Addison White to Commons. Can we get him out? Can we get him out? Nope. Nope. Yeah, we can. Okay, that was just the slowest reaction <laughs> ever. Just the slowest reaction ever. And let's go to Nick Kimber. There. Addison White. He's still feeling okay, though. He's got a few more overs in the bank. He's, he's bowling a long spell, of course. Um, and another chance straight away after. We're going we're gonna to have to make sure we both spin at least... Oh, there we go. Like, at least from one end consistently. In those. So, having the pace at the other end. 21 is left. We'll bowl Joe Root the rest of the rest of the session from this end that's the end of day three we've got ireland 120 for two they lead by 60 turning bounces uneven i actually think probably worth having spin at both ends from now on um might leak a few runs but hopefully we'll take a few chances they have slowed up haven't hit a boundary in a few there is one back foot offside i don't know why we're bowling offside to these guys it's just Whenever we mix the aggression up, changes things up. Quite annoying. Here we go, Ruti. Can we get the third wicket? Oh, that's in the air. It's going to be taken. It is indeed. Jeff Archer takes the catch. Okay, we'll keep the same kind of line here. Then Patterson White to Tucker. And three, turn into four. It can indeed. Phil Salt takes the catch. Tucker is gone for only one. Lovely stuff. Okay, front foot leg side. So we'll bowl offside to Carmichael instead. Try and grab another wicket here. Root detector. Six. Six. Over is going big. No edge, unfortunately. Oh, and then that over's gone for a few. Let's pop it out here. A little bit of pace to round off the session. Archer to Tector. Gets him. 95. Oh, that's unfortunate. No 100 for Tector. And, and he's replaced by Tector. Wow, okay. Um, bowling, but okay. Yeah. I like the I like the alternation between... Uh, that's got to be out. Yep, that's gone. Between having one bowler bowling aggressive and the other kind of bowling with a little bit more of a defensive field, it's not a terrible, terrible idea. In by two, Tector. That's in the air. We've got fielders out there, surely. We've got fielders out there. We do indeed. And Alton takes the catch. Lovely stuff. Camphor and Josh Little comes in. Ball in the same. Oh, why are we bo no, 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 no. We're not bowling offside. There we go. That's Little gone. Perfect. Perfect stuff. So the pace has actually come back on and he's taken the wicket to. Um, oh, okay. Let's bring on Patterson White again and we'll have pace at the other end. Spin at one end. Uh, see if we can rattle them out here for 320 would be, be nice. No, we're not going to take the new ball. We are going to bring Joe Root on to the other end here. Bit of, bit of spin at both ends then instead. I've changed my mind. Oh, what is that? What's happened there? There was an appeal for a catch. How can you appeal for a catch behind when the ball was rolling towards the boundary? <laughs> Makes very little sense to me. Okay, the spin is not doing it. Let's go to Stokesy. Stokesy, first ball. Oh, nothing there. Stokesy, second ball, the next over. That's high. That's in the air. It's going to be safe. It's going to be four. How frustrating. Go, uh, no, let's go pace. Let's go Alton at the other end now. 320 wasn't going to happen. They're at 380. Camphor's gotten 100 at number 7, 10, 9, 8. Crazy stuff. Um, and Alton to Robertson. 
straight back at him and that's over okay 325 is well 326 is the target we've got an essex game to be looking at oh that's really it's really frustrating that i can't can't kind of have any input on the essex games when we're playing in these england games you know it's a little bit a little bit a little bit annoying to be honest i wish i wish that i could have a bit of impact on both but that doesn't seem to be the case it does seem to be one or the other you know and that's that's a little bit annoying three for naught we've got to get to maybe oh okay paul is gone early Phil salt comes out we've got, i was about to say we've got to get to maybe like 50 for naught that's obviously not going to be the case now um and get to 50 for one yeah let's just edit the target 50 for one would be a nice target here bill salts come out swinging that's a little bit better max of four even if it is off the edge 300 runs to get here and uh you know, while it's so early in the innings wickets do mean a lot more if they get us 28 for three for example you know we're not having a lot of fun wharton smacks two sixes off that over no, sorry, Phil Salt smacked the first, got a single, and then Wharton smacked the second. That's 42 for one, 45 for one, 46 for one, and that is the 50 up. Okay. Hey, we've got so much time. Don't even think I need to mess with the aggression levels here. That's close, but not out. Because we don't have to get all the runs today. You know, we've got time tomorrow to get the runs here got a whole nother day but the rain could slow us down 63 for one now Bill salt looking good forecast looking like it looks like we'll have a nice session in the morning we'll have a little bit of sun in the morning so yeah i don't think i'm going to take any risks we've got 39 minutes left in today's play and let's just see how much of this total we can get down that we've got 248 to from here 248 to win that's even less now with that four okay okay two three nine 27 minutes to go left in the day let's get to 100 for one that's all i want that's all i would like 98 for one yeah like i say we've got so much time there's no need to be rushing no need to be rushing if you hit oh there we go that'll be the 100 up and it comes from buys um, 105 for one. Lovely stuff. That's perfect. That's okay. How is the game going? 283 for seven. Hampshire. How are the wickets falling? Simon Harmer's got one. Beard's got two. Cook and Snater have got two. Water's got zero. And uh, the county championship has actually started in real life as well. The, the 2024 county championship. We're obviously in 2027 in the game. And uh, Essex are up playing against Nottinghamshire in, at Trent Bridge in Nottinghamshire. And uh, Sam Cook took a hat trick. Sam took, Sam Cook took a hat trick uh, in the Nottinghamshire first innings, and that game is poised. I tell you, it's poised. Um, either team, I reckon, from where it is at the end of today, which is day three, Essex will be looking to set a total that's, you know, hard to get for Nottinghamshire, and uh, then try and bowl them out. You know? Not, but the thing is, you can't set a total that's so so big it's unattainable because then the opposition will just be like yep walk out no risks taking no chances given and then you just you know you're kind of destined for a draw so uh essex oh is this going to be 50 for phil salt i think it was i think that was 50 up it was indeed 50 up for phil salt of only 87 deliveries really really well played but yeah like i say the the check the county championship in real life we're we'll be keeping track of that of course we will um, Essex came second last year, um, but it was it was quite close actually. There was a chance that Essex could have won, but they would have needed quite a bit of luck, um, and quite a lot to go our way in the last the last round of fixtures, and it did it, it didn't it didn't well. It's not even that. It's not that they didn't go our way. You know, it, we needed a bit of luck from both sides of it. We need to win our game. We need the other game to lose. I think it was Hampshire playing Surrey or something like that. While I'm talking, Wharton has smacked 50 as well. We now need 199 to win. The really, really good thing is that we've still got nine wickets in the bag. 
which is uh, very, very nice. So we can just keep playing as we are. Trying to smack runs at a, a decent rate. You know, you don't want to get bogged down. Oh, that's gone. Phil Salt's gone. Ben Duckett comes in and more or less you're replacing like for like style of batsman there. Aggressive batsman. Want to put the bowler under pressure. Love hitting boundaries. Love hitting a long ball. Just like that from James Wharton. And uh, 170 to win. We were 105 overnight, so we have slowed down a bit this session. Still, oh, that's gone. Duck, it's gone. Okay, in comes Joe Root. 60 to win. We're at 160. We're going to score. Looks like we're going to score 60 or 70 this. Ep I thought that was just going to be a, a four. Is there ever a single there? You've hit it straight to the, straight to the fielder. And then Alton's out first ball. Okay, and just just like that, one six three for two. We lose three wickets, four runs. Now, now things are looking a little bit more difficult. A little bit more difficult. Joe Root smacks a four to finish up the the session. 150 to win in two sessions is very very doable. Very doable. Five wickets, however, is also very doable. Ireland have just they've just got one of them. So yeah. Okay. I'm adding adding one layer of aggression because I feel like if I go fully defensive, we just throw away wickets. Now I've got three wickets to end here. This this is a collapse of mammoth performance proportions here we were looking like we were going to win this game and then this middle order collapse has absolutely thrown the game back towards ireland uh, and then root's gone okay i think that's the game let's see how long our bowlers can hold out here that is a collapse of incredible levels incredible levels and there we go it's all over Oh my word. One, six, three, a two, we were. Duckett then gets out. I'm not even sure that's hitting. It might be. And then we score one, six, three for two. We went 21 for eight. Oh my word. A good win for, um, good win for Ireland. That's all I can really say. A good win, 140 run win. Absolute collapse from us. Huge collapse. The wickets just falling left and right. Let's take a look at the Essex game before we wrap up the episode. Um, with 286 for 8, it is only 25. You've still got Snater and Harmer out there. 100. Oh, Bell Drummond with the first baller. Not good. Robin Das smacks a 50. Travis Head only manages 10. Right. Um, England squad. Oh, for the one day series. Um, okay, let's let's make a few changes then. Let's bring. Oh, I don't know who I want to bring. But hmm. One thought on economy real quick. And he played one game. Here. Bowling. In twenty two. He's already played a few. Okay, let's let's bring him in. Let's see about who we're going to take off the other end here. That That's a bit high. I mean, that's a bit high. Let's remove Johan there. Replace him with spin for spin. It's just the type of spin. Changed a bit. Vince is bold. Right, fair enough. Okay, didn't expect that. Seven overs. Um, you. That's quite a good economy. Quite a nice economy. The the 
bowling figures filter for you. Topley's got nice figures as well. As well, we'll add Topley as well. Let's. Hmm. Get rid of Joffre Archer, despite his speed being something we could, we we definitely do need and use. Um, that's that's the change we'll make there. Fielding wise, no, that's all right. Let's go to bowling, please. Um, no, sorry, not bowling. We'll go to batting. Built off you, and sort on average. Ducket, yes, he. Ducket scores are really nice. Um. Just one day. You know if that includes field. Here we are. Benton's got good average. Benton's average, crazy age twenty two. That's really really good. But keeper, you're not. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Um, good average as well. Hain as well. It's a great average. Charles Paul. Um, national. Booty at 45 is a bit low, but over 195, 196 games, not actually that bad, is it? Low from Will Jacks, a bit lower than I might expect, but he offers with bat and ball, to be fair to him. Very nice as well. Roy, I think I'm going to have to bring back Ben Duckett. And who's going to miss out? Who's going to miss out? Um, might have to be Butler. Well, I, think I, I think it'll have to be Butler who misses out. Physio-wise, Alton can have a bit of extra physio just because he's looking a bit tired. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Test series was indeed drawn. Was indeed. We moved through the days. There was a draw. Okay, it finished as a draw. Um, so they put on 311. We then equalized, really. Four hours lost. Oh, we would have won that game. We would have won that game. That's a little bit frustrating. Essex definitely would have won that game. A look at the fixtures as we look here. Essex are now moving into the blast on 18th of May. No, sorry, they're not. There's a game against Sussex, 18th of May 1st. Um, we're, we're playing on the 19th of May, so... I'm not actually sure what's going to happen with that, but, but England looks like England does take precedence now, um, which I can kind of understand, but... I don't, I don't know. We might play like a season as England and then maybe play an Ashes or play a World Cup and then resign and focus on Essex again or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because this isn't, well, it was an Essex save first and foremost. And then we got in, given the England job and it's almost like England has overtaken Essex stuff. So yeah, I think maybe what we'll do is we'll see We'll play like an six. We'll play it. We'll play a few more England stuff. There's that's the ashes. Yeah, okay. That's the acid at there. That is the ashes there. And then it looks like we've got one dayers. Got a lot of one dayers. Um when Gonna have a test championship final as well. Um, we're currently winning the ODI championship as well. Okay, so we are doing well. Yeah, we're, okay, cool. I'll make a decision. I'll, I'll keep everyone informed, of course. But yeah, wait, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. One last thing to check will be the, the county championship table. We're currently sitting in sixth. It's not so bad. We've got a game against Sussex next that I think the computer will probably take control of. But they're really struggling. So hopefully the computer can get the win there. That'd be really, really nice. And while we play our one-day series, 
against um against Ireland and then we play one T twenty. And then the next stop we do as England will be an Ashes series. And then a test championship final right after that. Okay. The minute it looks like it's against Pakistan. Is that confirmed? I don't know if that's confirmed or not though. You know, that's really that's something that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, thank you so so much for watching and I shall catch you next time.